I really wish this road wasn't so busy. Hey, my name is Scott Gibson and I'm standing in front of my very first investment property. Now I bought this house about a month ago pre-auction. It's a three bed end of terrace on the outskirts of Cambridge. It needs some modernization, but I'm hoping it won't take too much to make it look good. At the end of this video, I'll go through all the figures and explain how much I brought this property for, what I spent on it, and how much I think it's gonna be worth at the end. But in the meantime, let's go in and take a look around and see what needs to be done. Okay, um, so the living room. The, um, the living room, as you can see, um, probably isn't in the best condition. Uh, it's a bit mouldy, it's a bit old. Um, you've got wallpaper on here that's obviously been here for a very long time, it's dated. It looks like it's been painted over as well. Um, you've got carpet, which looks extremely old. And there's some damp patches on, on here as well. So that's gonna have to go, that's gonna be all ripped up. Um, the light fittings obviously gonna need to be changed. Uh, the ceiling, we've got old Artex ceiling on here, so that's gonna need to be changed. We also have some pipes coming out, so they might have to try and be hidden, but they seem okay. The radiator looks relatively new compared to the age of the house. Um, the fireplace looks like a real fireplace, judging how it looks like it's been used. But there is a real bad smell in here. Um, it just smells old and musty. Um, so I'm probably gonna open a window actually. Ugh. So it's a bit old, a bit musty. Needs to be aired out for sure. So I was told that the property was empty for a couple of months. Um, however, I don't think that's the case. I think it's probably close to years. Um, and judging from the neighbours, when I spoke to them, they said that there hasn't been anyone here for a long time. So it seems like it's probably been empty for probably more years than months. So um, probably explains the damp and also the bit of the, the musty smell in here as well. So the kitchen also smells um, a bit, um, a bit musty and a bit old and dirty. Um, there's a couple of marks on the wall, which I can see, which maybe looks like they maybe had a dog in here as well at some point. Um, the kitchen is a bit of an awkward shape, so that's gonna need to be redone. Um, and I, yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure when this place was last cleaned. Um, it looks like it's had gas at some point, but then it changed over to electric on the cooker. So I'm not too sure why that would have been. Now the doors don't seem too bad. Uh, they probably look like they need to be cleaned at the very least and painted, but I don't know, I'm not too sure. Maybe I'll have to replace these, but I definitely think they're gonna need new handles and also going to need some painting as well. So yeah, that's the kitchen. Now onto my favorite room which is probably not actually going to be my favorite room. Okay, so the bathroom, uh, again, it's quite dated. So we're definitely going to need a new bathroom set in here. Probably going to need to repaint, replaster, and just general modernization, really. So probably not too much work in there, realistically. So hopefully with just some paint and a new bathroom set and some tiles, um, we can transform the bathroom and make it look more modernized and much more appealing to um, the future buyer of the property. Fingers crossed. Now as we get upstairs, we're greeted with one, two, three, four, four different carpets. So we have a pink carpet, a blue carpet, a cream carpet, and a I assume it was red or brown at some point, but a heavily discolored uh, floral carpet, all of which smell terrible and need to be ripped out ASAP. So that'll be today's job at some point. Some other things I've noticed is that some of the doors up here, uh, the door frames are slightly damaged, so they have to be fixed or replaced. Um, so that's something that definitely needs to be looked into. And again, up here, we've got the wallpaper, which has definitely been painted over in some kind of magnolia color. So that's, again, gonna have to come off up here. Generally speaking, I'm quite happy with the house. I think it's a good size. I think there's not too much that needs to be done. Uh, I was quite worried that I might have missed something when I came around and looked at the auction. So as you can imagine, that goes around quite quickly. You know, you come and do a viewing, you're only around for about 15 minutes. So 
you worry if you're going to miss something, but I don't think I've missed anything. I don't think there's going to be any mistakes that are going to pop up. Um, those are obviously my famous last words. I'm sure something will come up along the way and bite me in the ass. Um, but hopefully I'm wrong with that one and hopefully it goes all smoothly. So to summarize what I think we need to get done, first of all, it's going to be a good clean, get rid of the carpets, get rid of the kitchen, get rid of the bathroom. We're going to need to repaint, replaster, plaster the ceilings, um, and change some of the lights around. But apart from that, I don't think there's anything else we need to do, and it should be pretty straightforward. Maybe we'll change the doors, or maybe we'll just repaint them and change the handles. Um, but besides that, I think it's pretty straightforward and should look pretty nice once it's all modernized. So with that being said, I think it's time to get cracking. So here we are back at the project 30 days later. Let's go in and take a look and see what we've done. So here we are, just over three and a half weeks later from originally looking at the property when I got the keys. Everything's fully renovated, everything's all done. The property looks great. I'm very happy with everything. Um, there are a couple of minor issues with some painting and some plastering that can easily be fixed, so no big issues. But let's jump into the figures and see what it took for us to get here and talk about the financials and talk about what potentially this property could be worth now. So I bought this house pre-auction for £172,500. So I obviously had to put a deposit down, which is about 25%, so which is about £43,000. Um, in terms of fees, so stamp duty and legal fees was just under £8,000. Fees for the financing and setup costs was around £6,000. Interest, uh, we're looking at about £5,200. So, um, all in all, that takes us up to, I think it's about 200 and 202,000 pounds. So that was everything to get up to this point. Um, and the renovations themselves cost just under 20 grand. Originally, I had allocated 12 and a half thousand pounds, but I seriously underestimated this. Some of those mistakes were just due to inexperience on knowing what some trades would cost, like plastering. Um, there was some unexpected costs that come up with other people being more expensive because some other people weren't available and then just having to spend a little bit more money on some repairs which I didn't expect. So that was one of the issues of having too many contractors in at some points. Um, some of the floor got damaged and some of the paint got damaged at some points um, and also the kitchen worktop got damaged. So that meant there's some little, little extra expenditure there to try and put those things right. But we still made a profit so let's jump to the numbers and go to what the estate agents think that the property is worth. So now I've had two estate agents come over to the property this weekend and give me an evaluation on what they think the property could be worth. So they both think it could be worth somewhere between 260 to 270,000 pounds, which is a phenomenal profit. Um, will we get that number? I don't know. Realistically, I think it's probably gonna be around maybe the 250 to 260 mark. So even if we got 250, I'd be more than happy. Uh, we'd be looking at about a profit of around 38 to 40,000 pounds, which is very good. Especially as it's only taken three and a half weeks. Um, you can't knock it. So more than happy with that. Obviously more is better, but I'm not a greedy person. So we'll take what we can get in this instance. 
Now there's been some learning curves, not everything has run smoothly. Um, there's been some issues with contractors, again, with people not showing up or people making mistakes, people damaging some items, which I've had to replace at my own cost. Um, but that's a learning curve, that's something I didn't know. But to be fair, it could have gone a lot worse and all in all, I'm very happy and I look forward to doing another one. Now this definitely isn't a passive income, this is definitely work. I thought this was something that I could just do, no problem on the side, a couple of emails, a couple of phone calls, but no, it really isn't. I still had to sit there and compare notes, I had to pay things, I had to make sure work was being done. Any kind of issues, people were calling me up to try and find out what's going on. There was a lot of paperwork as well, which I wasn't expecting and stuff that I haven't done before. So yeah, a lot of stuff to learn, but all in all, I'm very happy with the end product and I think this is going to be a great home for someone to move into. But if you have any questions on this renovation project and would like to know more on how I did things and would like to know more of my experience, then drop a message in the comment section below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can and hopefully I can help you in your journey. That's all for today's video and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.